So I'm back at the swimming pool and the two cushions and the block of polystyrene I put underneath the cover just don't seem to be enough to keep the cover up. So we've got some more cushions. Got another five. So I'm now gonna see what I can do to help this cover. So there's the cushions all now in the middle of the pool. All I've got to do now is put the cover back on. I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to do some repairs on this mirror. We bought it from a Brocant quite a long time ago and we're going to use it in the blue bedroom above the fireplace. It um, looks like it's a deco one and it seems to be pearlized a little bit, the cream and quite glossy black. And this end's got a lot of damage on it. So mirrors over here are super expensive. So even second hand ones are expensive. So we tend to buy damaged ones and then do as much as we can to renovate them. So I'm gonna do some filling in here. So where it's broken away, it's actually got some depth to it. So I'm going to do some filling and then try and touch up the paintwork as best I can. If it still looks tatty, I'm going to have to be a bit inventive and perhaps put a spray of flowers or something across the top of it, ribbons and what have you, as I did with the mirror in the um, main suite. So that's all the filling done. It's quite rough, but all the holes are filled. So that's the first fill on the mirror frame, sanded down. I'm just gonna do some fine filling because it's a little bit patchy. So that's had a second fill and a sand. So we're close to uh, putting some undercoat on that now. So that's the cream colour I've just painted in. I've got a couple of helpers as usual. There's the finished mirror. That's come out quite well. And there's a bit of flower arrangement on the top, so just to finish it off. So I've got a couple of little bits left to do in here, um, in this blue bathroom. One is to box in the pipes down here that go to the bath. And then over here, just between the shower stall and the sink, just need to box them in as well. So I've just made up this box frame. Um, and I guess it fits over the pipework here. There you have it. Just to uh, cover the pipes up. Get a bit of paint on it, that'll disappear nicely. So there's the finished article with all the paint on it. That's hitting that away quite nicely. And then on this side, that one's there, disappears quite nicely behind the sink too. So I've just been up into the loft and fetched a half a dozen blocks of Oasis. So this is the dry sort that you do dry arrangements with. And I've used dots of hot glue to stick them together. And I've started cutting and modelling a shape. So for my um, peacock body, the neck and head's obviously quite thin and I'm going to strengthen it with wires. So here's a wire I'm just about to put down through the head and neck. I'm gonna do several of those and then I'm gonna go through the body in several directions 
just to hold the blocks together so that the um, glue doesn't weaken and uh, pull apart. Um, I've decided to reinforce it by using strips of paper in glue, wallpaper glue, and I'm just going to give it a coat of that and that will just make a nice firm cover to the oasis and a surface that I can paint. I can't paint on this because it's powdery. If I do this on the top and let it dry and go hard, I can then paint that surface. That will make it stronger still. And I don't want to have um, this neutral colour showing underneath my next layer. So if I can put this on and paint it, that gives me a colour that's going to be easier to disguise what I've got underneath. Um, another way of doing this would have been to use chicken wire. Make a chicken wire frame and cover it with the same, it's um, just wet newspaper. It's in wallpaper glue, so it's like a paper mache, but I'm leaving it in strips. So the body has been covered in paper, which is now dry, and I'm putting a blue coat of uh, just a thin paint over it. It's watercolour. I'm at the open barn. I've just brought the slap truck over and I'm going to take this into the house. So this is what uh, Mark has prepared for me. It's going in the dining room and this is what the uh, peacock's going to stand on. And there's our lovely little digger that's due to leave us the next day or two. All clean. And this is how I move heavy objects through the house. I put them on a rug or a blanket or something and I drag them. The only problem being low doorways and glass lights everywhere. And finally I've got here, I'm not sure if it needs um, shortening at all, so I just want to put it in place and just see what I need to do with it to make it work in that space. I'm in the boot room, so this is the arrangement that I've just taken out of the dining room. Um, I'm going to reuse quite a lot of this, so especially the dry heads. They look really good sprayed, and I think to a certain extent the sedum as well. Um, this is fennel. And I think that can, uh, that can be reused. Anything that's sort of fairly dry can be reused. Sounds like the mark's off doing something else now. It's got the leaf blower out, it's going to do the dry. This is a drive after I uh, blew the leaves off last night. Didn't have too much wind in the night, so it's all, it's all clear. Nice bright sunny morning. It's very cold though, it's like one degree. We've had ice overnight.